like I said in my room tour video last week, I am moving flat. I'm moving out of my current place where I'm living with two friends from university and I'm moving in with Claudio, my friend from Switzerland. Now we haven't had long to organise this. Claudio has spent a week here, we have viewed lots of properties. I wanted to stay in a similar area because it's, it's quite convenient for getting to central London and to get to Richmond for work. And, and one place I was very keen on was those buildings over there. That is St George's Wharf. Fairly new buildings, really nice. The rooms have balconies, river view, all sounded lovely. The complex also has a supermarket and a dentist, a GP, a pharmacy, bars and restaurants. So we organised viewings for a lot of the properties that were available in there. Um, they were okay, but a lot of them we were just a bit underwhelmed. They were not as good as we were expecting from like a, a brand new build. Um, one of them was really nice. It was what we were looking for um, and we nearly made an offer on it, but then an estate agent showed us a different building. As he was walking us to this other building, which so far we totally ignored, um, we weren't interested in, I was thinking this is going to be a waste of time and we're not going to like them and anything which is good is going to be out of our price range. But we got there, he showed us around a few and, and one of them me and Claudio just fell in love with. It was so much better than we expected. My dream of living in St George's Wharf was shattered by something even better. And I'm on my way to get the keys for this new place right now. I am so excited, but first, I'm gonna skip back a few days to Monday morning before we knew that we would definitely get the place. Because today we are on our way to the estate agent's office. It's 7.30 a.m. Monday morning, and there's a tube strike today, so we're gonna get a bus to Notting Hill. Okay, we've made it despite the tube strike. We're early in fact, but that's good because I am working today. I need to get back and do that. The estate agent is there. We've got 15 minutes before uh, they open. We're just going to wander around a bit because it's freezing cold. Okay, they've taken copies of our passports. Everything sounds good. I think we can relax a little bit. He seems very confident that we'll have no problems moving into uh, this flat this week. This Saturday is gonna be our move-in date. Still waiting for references to be checked. Since Claudio is just moving to the UK now, um, and he hasn't lived here previously, his references might be a little bit more difficult, but in that case, we can just pay a few months' rent up front, and the sounds like they'll be fine with that. So I'm feeling happier. It's nine o'clock now. I need to get back home as quickly as possible because I am now late for work. Buses are still packed. get on. Wait for the next one. Right, let's try it again. Um, no, not stopping. There's no space. We've been here ages now. Okay, third time lucky, come on. It was a long journey, back nearly home. Um, it's 20 past 10, a little bit late for work, it'll be okay. I did anticipate this and did some work last night um, to make up for it. None of this would be a problem if the tube stations were. I'm always unlucky with these tube strikes. Most days I don't use the tube because I get a train to work. Trains aren't affected by the, well, they, they don't strike. Um, they are affected because they're a lot busier. But yeah, usually I don't get a tube. Except every time there's a tube strike, I need the tube to get somewhere. I'm almost back home. I'm going to work from home today because it would take me like another hour and a half to get into the office and that would be silly. I would also have to leave early because at half past six today I'm meeting our current estate agent uh, for this place about moving out. But I work from home, no problem. I can work up to six o'clock then meet this guy um, who I've never actually met before, even though I've been living here for a year and a half, and then continue working afterwards to make up for this hour and a half that I've missed. Moving stressful. Okay, I haven't got much done yet, but it is lunchtime. May have started work late, but I might as well eat on time. Wow, it's a bit of a mess in here. 
all with my stuff to be fair. <laughs> Claudio was meant to go back to Switzerland today, but because of the tube strike, he couldn't get to the airport. Um, so he's still here. <laughs> he's, he's got a new flight on Wednesday, so he's here for another two nights. It's half past nine, I'm still working on Grey's stuff, uh, just making up for what I missed this morning. I've also met with our current estate agent, he's sorted all of the stuff out that he wanted to go through uh, before we move out of this flat. I'm going to get up early again tomorrow um, because I've got some more things to do. I want to try to get some boxes to pack things into. I want, I've got some stuff I need to get rid of um, which I can't just put into a normal bin like batteries and bulbs specifically. So I'm going to stop doing work pretty soon and have an early night. Thanks for So of course everything has worked out so far, or at least I think it has. Let's hope somebody's actually waiting there for me with two sets of keys. Because Claudio is back in Switzerland this weekend, Roger will be playing the part of Claudio in today's vlog. Apparently the person is already in the flat. They'll be doing the inventory check today to make just to make a list of everything that's there. I'm so excited to see this. I hope it's as good as it is in my memory. Hi. Hello. Hi, Jeanette. I'm Jake. Hi. This is, Hi, this is Roger. Just Hi, a friend. Oh, okay. I've got the keys. It's really lovely. Um, it is, it's just, it's the perfect apartment for us, I think. Claudia will be back hopefully sometime next week. I'm gonna move all of my stuff in tomorrow. There's a lot of things I don't understand yet. All of the rooms have um, HDMI ports and aerial ports and things like that, but this one doesn't have HDMI actually. But I don't know where they go to. I don't know who's paying for the electricity and the heating at the minute and how I swap that to me because I'm supposed to pay. But we can figure all of these things out later. Gonna head back to mine now to finish packing. I've got quite a lot of stuff to move and to move it I've decided to hire a van. And I think this one is mine. I'm gonna use Zipcar. Uh, I've got this from half past eight tomorrow morning for three hours. I can drive, obviously, um, but I've never driven a van. I've only ever driven a car. So this will be interesting. This is why I've gone for really early on Sunday morning. Hopefully there's no traffic or any other cars around. So it should be pretty easy. Drive it to mine, get all my stuff in, drive it to my new place and get it all back out. And then by like tomorrow evening, I'll be fully moved in. So most stuff is already packed. Um, my desk is gone. The things from all my walls are gone. It's looking very empty in here. It's all down in the living room, ready to go down and outside tomorrow morning. I've reached the stage where nearly everything's packed, but it's just not quite done and it still looks like there's lots of bits and pieces lying around. But I I've run out of boxes and bags and I'm not sure what to do with everything that's left. The good news is I'm not moving out of this place. We don't have to move out until next Thursday, so it doesn't matter if I don't take everything, I can just come back for it. Okay, packing for today I think is done. I'm gonna get up early tomorrow to finish bits off. Like I said, I can leave a few things and just come back during the week to collect them. Gonna have dinner now, gonna relax for the rest of the evening. Big day tomorrow, 